back to the next session of answers tutorial today i'm going to solve a numerical of steady state thermal analysis this is question number 11 in continuation of the problems calculate the heat conduction through a steel cylinder of internal diameter 100 mm and outer diameter 180 mm inside temperature of cylinder is 600 degrees celsius and outside diameter is exposed to 29 degrees celsius so we are solving a numerical of a hollow cylinder let's go to answers and get started i'll go to steady state thermal i have already solved two examples of steady state thermal so i am renaming this as example 3 i'll first go to engineering data engineering data sources i'll go to general materials And I'll choose stainless steel. I'll go to project, update project. Next I'll go to geometry, right click, new design modeler geometry. This is the screen of design modeler. I'll go to units, millimeter, xy, look at. I'll go to circle. I'll draw another circle and give it dimensions. Outer diameter is 180, inner diameter is 100. So D1 is 180 and D2 is 100. Now I'll go to extrude, apply, I'll extrude up to a depth of 30 mm, you can extrude to any length you want, the length of extrude is not important, what is important is this distance of diameter because the heat, the heat transfer will take place radially and not along the length, so I'll just generate it, this is a geometry. Now I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll first go to geometry, solid. I'll change the material to stainless steel. Next I'll go to mesh, sizing. I'll choose fine, update. I'll go to analysis settings now. The inner face is subjected to a temperature of and the outer face is subjected to a temperature of 29 degrees Celsius. Next I'll go to solution, right click, insert, thermal, temperature. This temperature profile will be seen all over the body. Right click, insert, total heat flux, solution, solve. I click on temperature. Here I can see the temperature profile over the entire body. I will click on max min. You can animate and see the distribution of temperature over the body and the way the temperature is changing over each section. Next I'll go to heat flux. This is the total heat flux over the body. I can animate and see the result. On this body if I want to see the result anywhere else I can just use the option of probe and click anywhere and see the result. So this is how we analyze the heat flow through a hollow cylinder. This is the plain wall. There will be composite wall in, in hollow cylinders as well. Uh, I'll solve those numericals in the next session. I hope you have understood the numerical. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Your support is at most important to keep the channel going. I'll see you in the next session with another numerical. Thank you. Mm -hmm.